I spent a bit of time with Ryan Garcia. We do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes. That's all. He, he called me yesterday. What, what are your thoughts? Uh, I want to do big fight with him. And he asked me to do the rematch between him and Haney. And we want to see this fight. Yeah. Uh, I am against the, the drugs and against everything about it. I said to Ryan Garcia, you must pass the test and clear yourself. And I am waiting for you. What do you mean by that? And this is fair. He have a su suspension in America. He can do something in Saudi Arabia, but I will not do it in Saudi Arabia. Uh, I will respect this, the suspension. We do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes. That's all. Uh, but if he solve his problem, we are ready to do something with him. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm supposed to. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. I praise God to get buddy back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, baby. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So, we have some more news out of Turkey, Al Sheik. You know what I'm saying? AKA Big Turk is what we call him over here. Anybody else calling him that? Just know what started at this place, you hear me? So, look. So, Big Turk has, uh, you know, he's been doing big, big things. You know what I'm saying? He has, he's been very busy uh, proposing fights, planning fights, and, and bringing fights into, into fruition. You know what I'm saying? Situated fights and all that stuff. And apparently, he was on a Twitter space um, being interviewed, and um, he, has, he, he, he has revealed that. He's been in contact with Ryan Garcia. We do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes. That's all. And, um, you know, um, he said that he's interested in in having the Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia rematch, you know. And, and I, I, think that, I think that's good, though. You know, I think that's good. Um, but he emphasized that while Ryan Garcia is suspended in the U.S., that he he plans on upholding that suspension. He doesn't plan on doing anything to circumvent that, that suspension. And he wants to honor that suspension, you know what I'm saying, because he said he does not believe in cheating. He does not believe in anybody that, that, that has been proven as a cheater, which Ryan Garcia was, uh, cheating during during the events that transpired during the, during the match between him and, him and Devin Haney. And uh, he said that, yeah, but after that, as long as Ryan Garcia, you know, proves that he's a clean fighter um, and abides by the... Um, the rules and stipulations and the criteria that he has to meet in regards to his suspension um, by uh, um, um, in reaction and as a result of him uh, passing the test or sorry failing the test you know uh, for having a banned substance PED uh, Austrian in the system then he would love to work on, work with him and put on that uh, and put on that rematch and I think that's dope because you know uh, I'm interested in that rematch you know what I'm saying and, and, and um, even when you mess up everybody deserves the opportunity to, to, to set it right now I'm not a big fan of Ryan Garcia uh, because of his actions uh, after uh, uh, his controversial uh, uh, fight with with Devin Haney, you know what I'm saying? He he did a lot of things that I I, I vehemently denounce, you know what I'm saying? And as far as uh, attacking uh, uh, people's wives yeah. and telling uh, Hall of Famers the SFD and, yeah. and saying some racist remarks yeah. towards the deceased, and yeah, so I don't I don't really rock with Ryan Garcia like that. But those of you that rock with the channel, you know that I actually bet on Ryan Garcia. I actually um, won money because I felt like stylistically Ryan Garcia would beat Devin Haney, and I was right. What? what? Garcia, on left hook from the- Oh, he dropped him! Oh! Oh, 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 bitch! Two big bombs come from Ryan Garcia. Another left hook from Ryan Garcia. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! No! No! Ryan Garcia got too much! No! He got too much! Not like this. He got too much! That's too much pressure! That's too much pressure! However, um... I, and I want money, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and some of y'all telling me to return that money, well, well, go tell your mama to return it. She got it with her, you know what I'm talking about? What do you mean by that? <laughs> I gave it to her for a favor, you feel me? But yeah, but anyway, no, nah, I'm just joking. But anyway, she, um, I mean, uh, yeah, so I want money. I, I feel like stylistically, Ryan Garcia would beat Devin Haney. And, I, and um, it's just, I didn't anticipate him to do it with uh, PEDs in the system. So I, I, that disqualifies him, right? You know what I'm saying? So anybody who... Uh, who was okay with anybody cheating against anybody. To me, that just says one or two things. If you love Ryan Garcia too much, 
and you want him to win by any means necessary, yeah. or you hate Devin Haney so much that you're okay with him losing by any means necessary, and that's just yeah. not right. You know what I'm saying? You you, you should want to uh, keep up the sanctity of boxing and, and have it be done by clean athletes and give everybody uh, opportunity to compete at the highest level on an even playing field. So I just feel like either way you look at it, if you're okay with anybody cheating, whether it's Ryan Garcia against Devin Haney or, or whoever it is, then that means that you have you you have too much emotion attached. To strangers that you don't know, you know what I'm saying? You should you, you should be ashamed of yourself because it's not that serious. If somebody wins, they win. If somebody loses, they lose. But it should be done with integrity. So yeah, man. So I think this is very very interesting. I'm interested in the rematch as long as they're um, you know abide by the rules and it's done on the even playing field. I think Turkey. I'm, I'm glad to know that Turkey would would also honor uh, honor the sanctity of the sport. You know what I'm saying? So I think this is dope. Um, let me know what you think about that in the comments. Do you uh, are you interested in a rematch? Do you think Ryan Garcia? Do, uh, um, uh, uh, should get a rematch? Do you think Devin Haney deserves to to even um, go through that again? Like, do you think that it's not even necessary if you're Devin Haney? Would you want a rematch or not? I think it would be dope, you know, because I know that uh, it was never proven that Antonio Margarito cheated against Miguel Cotto. It was proven that he cheated, but it wasn't proven that he cheated against Miguel Cotto. I think the consensus is uh, safe to say that Margarito cheated Cotto too, and then when Cotto got that get back, you know, he he just put on for a lot of us, man. And I, I, I thought that was a real dope uh, moment, and I was happy for my boy Miguel Cotto. That's why he's one of my favorite fighters as ever because I, I I feel like that's how I would have reacted too you know if I feel like someone cheated uh, then I want to get that back get him up let him get up let him get up let him get up like that like that you know, so I think that me personally, I would like for Devin Haney to get that rematch. Um, and, and whether he w wins, lose, or draw, but at least it's on an pl even playing field. It would know what really happened. But either way, at the same time, I think it's up to him because he's the one that got cheated. So if he doesn't want to fight Ryan Garcia in the rematch, I'm cool with that too. But me personally, I would like to see the rematch, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments, man. And uh, yeah, man, remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We are nothing. Y'all be easy. Doctors out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.